welcome back to my channel. My name is Mari and I am a teacher in Georgia and this is my seventh year teaching. Before I continue, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and engage. I would greatly appreciate it so you can stick around. So in today's video, I'm basically going to give you guys a quick classroom tour. It is the second day of school. Yesterday went amazingly well, so, so well. We had such great conversations. By the way, I'm teaching ninth grade lit, lit and composition. And the kids were great, amazing. The school is amazing. I'm just so grateful to be here. But nonetheless, yesterday was the first day of school. We did a virtual locker where the students had to design their virtual lockers. We also did a goals or a goals activity. Um, so basically students had to write two of their personal goals, it didn't have to be school related, on sticky notes. And so I'll show you where we put the sticky notes. They're anonymous. So the kids, I feel like, felt more comfortable sharing their goals. And then basically at the end of class, I just asked students to tell me what they plan to make in my class. What grade do they want to earn in my class? Um, and so hopefully they can always refer back to it throughout the school year and it will keep them motivated. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys my classroom and I hope you guys like it. So first things first, I wanted to show you guys my teacher outfit of the day. So I got this skirt from Target. Um, I got this top from Target, I got this necklace from Target, and um, I got these shoes from Target. Um, so yeah, Target is the place to go if you need some teacher clothes. Here is my board. So these um, posters I actually bought from Etsy and I had to um, print them out. They were a digital file. I had to print them out and uh, laminate them myself. Um, yep, I made these, what do you call it, board framework uh, labels. I made them myself through Canva and I just cut them out and laminated them. This poster, I love the words on this poster and the message it gives. I got this poster from Amazon, but I also saw it on Etsy as well. Um, so this little corner right here. So let me tell you a story about this, uh, what do you call it? I don't know, stand, I guess. So originally I got it from Ross and I saw that it was bent and broken. And so in my mind, I was like, you know what? I'm still gonna buy it and hopefully they'll give me a discount. So they only gave me a 10% discount. It wasn't much of a difference. And so I brought it home and I asked JD to fix it. And instead of fixing it, he makes it worse. But I'm grateful for his effort. So that is completely broken. Like if I move that, it's gonna completely fall off. So not too many items can be on this right here. It's very fragile. Um, a lot of these items I got from, what is it? Uh, I believe TJ Maxx or Ross. Um, this little plant is actually from Marshalls. This, I know I got from Amazon, for sure, for sure. I got this from Marshalls. Um, yeah, all of this pretty much came from Marshalls, actually. All of it. No, actually this lamp came from Target. And so, you know, I wanted to do something a little bit different than just having, you know, plain, um, a plain file cabinet. So I just put contact paper on the side and turned it sideways. And then, oh. <laughs> My fiance, he wrote that maybe two years ago, and I've brought it with me to every classroom ever since. Um, so yes, this is my desk. I still need to find a way to get my desktop working, and as you can see, sticky notes are already all over the place. Um, but I'm super duper happy about this label, this vinyl D. I got this on Etsy, and I will definitely leave uh, the uh, maker's information in the description section. Um, this was definitely from Ross or Marshalls, I believe, maybe TJ Maxx. Same thing over here. So basically all of this, all of the wall was from TJ Maxx. Um, the ceiling decor was from Amazon. And I have a few writing posters, um, basically showing the kids how to write summaries, elaborate, and use transitional phrases. Um, my tapestry I got from Amazon, and 
I love it. It was very cheap, um, but it takes up so much space and makes such a big statement. So I really, I, I really like that. Um, these posters um, were similar to the ones in the front of the classroom. Basically, um, it was a digital download from Etsy and I just printed it out at home and laminated it. And then here's some more writing posters um, for argumentative, personal narratives, and informative writing. So the currently section, I will probably get done um, next week. So I have the frequently asked questions section. Basically the kids can scan these QR codes and find answers to frequently asked questions. These posters up here, I actually got them from Amazon. They were not digital downloads, they were already posters. I just had to laminate them. And then my goals wall is where I'm sticking my kids' sticky notes, where their one to two goals are. So I really like how it's coming out. I love the different colors. So yeah. Um, so right here I have my um, college flags. I went to Georgia Southern for my bachelor's degree um, and for my specialist degree and I went to Georgia State for my master's. Um, so here are some QR codes. So I want the students to scan these whenever they use the restroom and also for when they are late to my class. Hopefully that won't happen too often. Um, just so that I can keep track of, you know, how many times they are out. Um, so this poster is my Just Be a Good Human poster. And in this corner, I really, really love this corner. Um, so yeah, these are actually cards that I got from this store near Moreland Avenue. I think it's on Caroline Street. I think it's called the Beehive or something like that. Yeah. And then I got this poster from Etsy as well. And I got this poster from Amazon. And like I said, I will link everything as much as I can um, in the description section. And then is here is my gallery wall. And so this is where I plan to display student uh, essays. And so they can come and look. Um, also, we might do like activities where students will have to evaluate uh, writing samples. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. And then obviously over here is my mirror. And um, I got these from Etsy, not Etsy, oh yes, Etsy as well. They were digital downloads. And I just printed them out and laminated them. I really love the colors. And then my Christmas lights, I'm pretty certain that they're from Amazon. So yeah. Oh, and my rug. So my rug, where did I get this from? I got it from Hobby Lobby? No, no, no. Yeah, Hobby Lobby. I got it from Hobby Lobby. And it's actually an outdoor rug. I kind of wish that I would have gotten a bigger rug, but right now it's okay. So as you guys can see, I only have one cube shelf at the moment because JD still has not put together the other one, but that is okay. He said he was gonna do it tonight. Um, I have my color pencils. I know high schoolers you know, don't use color pencils nearly as much as middle school, but I have them. I have tissue that my one of my new coworkers gave to me, thank goodness. And so, as you guys can see, the desks are labeled and numbered. And so basically, um, I will give my students um, assigned seats. I can just randomly choose a popsicle stick and ask whoever has that number or is sitting at the desk with the same number to share out uh, or volunteer or I will volunteer them to share out. <laughs> so yeah, this is my classroom. I'm super duper happy with it. And it's, I mean, the thing is I had, I didn't spend that much money. I really didn't, um, but I'm very happy with it. And yeah. Hi guys, so I wanted to record my outro clip separately. Um, I'm at home, I'm relaxed, I'm actually taking a breather. Um, today was a very long day, but I just wanted to say thank you for watching my classroom tour video. And also please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and engage in my channel. I really, really appreciate it. I will see you guys next time and thanks again for watching my video.
Hello. Hello, hello. Why did you do that to my rug? Can you please fix it? 